Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 6th of 2022. Well, it is titled Blue Marble Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of our planet Earth as seen from the Apollo 17 spacecraft and taken back in 1972. Now the Earth is of course something we can't see directly from Earth. I mean, we can always see Earth, but we can't really get a complete picture of it. And if we want to think about this, Earth was not originally known as a planet to the ancients. There were five planets in the solar system, and those were Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, the planets that we could see in the night sky. The Earth was seen as something special. That's where we lived. And it wasn't seen as a planet that was orbiting the sun like those other objects. Now what the ancient astronomers even the early Greeks knew was that the Earth was spherical is clearly visible in this image. And there were a number of different ways that they were able to demonstrate that even 1000s of years ago, and knew that the Earth was a great sphere in space. Now, of course, with the Apollo missions traveling away from Earth, we can get a better picture like this. Even images from low Earth orbits from things like the Space Shuttle or the International Space Station give you only part of a picture of Earth because they're still too close to it. In order to get the full view of Earth like this, you actually have to be much further away. And this was taken during the trip to and from the moon uh, by Apollo 17 astronauts back in 1972. And here we can see a good portion of Earth's surface. We see the African continent uh, up towards the upper right hand side, including the Arabian Peninsula towards the top, the island of Madagascar pretty well centered there. And then with the tilt, we can see most of Antarctica down towards the bottom. So we're seeing about half of Earth's surface here and we see that a lot of it is covered in water. Earth sometimes called the water planet because three quarters of its surface is covered in water. And that is unique in the solar system as there is no other object that currently has liquid water on its surface. There are other objects that have lots of water on them, whether it be frozen or liquid water down below the surface. And those are in the outer solar system, some of the moons of the giant planet planets. The only other object with any liquid on its surface would be the large moon Titan of Saturn, which actually has liquid methane. It's far too cold for water to be a liquid there. Much colder temperatures, water would all be solidly frozen. But methane can exist as a liquid there. So here we get to see our Earth as from space as again looking at it and finally understanding as we learned uh, back in the time of the Renaissance that the Earth was just a planet like the other planets that were known at the time. So that was our picture of the day for February 6th of 2022. It was titled Blue Marble Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be galactic rain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.